Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I'm going to demonstrate how to run a multi-container voting application with the web applications running in WebSphere Liberty in a Docker data center. I have already configured the Docker data center with the commercially supported Docker engine, Docker trusted registry and the Docker universal control plane. So in this demo, I will briefly explain about the configuration, what I have done, and then I'll show you how to run the multi-container voting application in the data center using the images available in the Docker trusted registry. Now let us review the Docker data center configuration. So I have used the Docker data center trial license. When the trial subscription is successful, you will get a screen like this. So this screen has the information about the various steps we need to perform to configure the Docker data center. The first step is you need to install the commercially supported Docker engine. In my configuration, I have two RHEL machine and one Ubuntu machine. So I have followed this instruction provided in this screen and installed the commercially supported Docker engine in all the three machines. So next, click next. And here with the step two is installing the Docker universal control plane and the install Docker trusted registry. So following the instructions, I have configured both of them. So now let us try and check the Docker trusted registry. So this is the Docker trusted registry login page. So Kavita is my username and I'm providing the password and click login. For the demo purpose, I have done few basic config configurations. Let's go to the settings. So here I have given the domain name as the my host machine name. And then I have left the HTTP port and HTTPS port as default that is 80 and 443. And then I have not configured any uh, kind of a security related configuration because this is just for the demo purpose. And from the security perspective also I have not done any configuration. So I'm going to use all the default only in the auth page. I have uh, used, selected the option as manage and I have created an admin user Kavita. Also I have created few repositories and pushed the images required by the application. The Redis, Postgres, Worker, Result app and the voting app. Now all these are images are available in the Docker trusted registry. And also I have configured the UCP. Let's log into the UCP. So log in using the username and password. Now we are in the UCP dashboard. Here we could see we have two nodes. So one is the controller node, the other is the worker node. So I have configured two nodes here. And then we could see there are multiple containers and images already available. Now we have to configure the UCP to interact with the Docker trusted registry. Click here and click the options settings and then go to the DTR configurations. So here you provide the URL for the Docker trusted registry. Since I have not configured any security related information, so I have marked it as insecure. Click dashboard. Now we have successfully configured the Docker trusted registry and the universal control plane. So let us go and review the next step. Click next. So I have uh, downloaded the license from this page. Using this license, I have configured my Docker trusted registry and the universal control plane. This page has information about configuring UCP and securing the Docker trusted registry. So now we are going to run the application from our local system. So to run that, we need to download the client bundle and configure it. So let's go into admin profile. Then come to create a client bundle. Click OK. Save, replace. So we have downloaded the client bundle. Now let us go to the Docker Quick Start Terminal and configure and launch our application. Now let's go to the folder 
client deploy then copy the bundle UCP bundle to this folder then unzip the UCP bundle which we have downloaded then give source env but I search to configure the environment and give docker info so now the docker client in this system is pointing to the UCP so now let us go to the client folder and review the docker compose.yml file so here we could see in this docker compose file we are uh, defining five services voting app result app worker release and the db that is a postgres db and here we could clearly see the image is pointing to the docker trusted registry so all these images are available in the docker trusted registry so now let us launch our application docker compose app so first it is creating the network then it is creating the db that is a postgres db and then it's creating the radius container then it is creating the client worker container and then client voting app container and then the result app container so clearly we could see all these containers are coming up and the logs are getting displayed so we could see both the liberty containers are up and running now let us launch the application and check so before that let us go to the universal control plane dashboard and see so here we could see there is one application running click that and here we could see it's climb and five containers are running and we could see there are five containers there is a db the ad's client worker booting app and the result app all the five containers are running in this with the worker node and also you can see the number of containers has increased because five new containers have been started so now let us launch the application and check it is running in, in the node with ip 61 dot so and it is running in the port number 5000 so we could see the voting app has been launched successfully let us cast our vote the vote has been casted successfully now let us review the result one dot now it is running the port 5001 so we could clearly see the result of the voting so now let us change the voting and check so now we'll cast our vote to pepsi let's go back and check so clearly we could see in real time we are seeing the changes in the voting because we first we cast our vote to coke and then we moved to pepsi so we could see the difference in the percentage as part of this demo you have seen how to configure docker data center with the commercially supported docker engines docker trusted registry and the universal control plane and run the voting application with multiple container services from the local docker client thanks for watching the demo